Greetings and welcome back to AG2. Today we want to continue with working with data in Excel. And as we see in front of us, we've got this layout of some makeshift brigade roll up by battalion. So I've got each of my battalions over here on the left and the UICs. And we basically don't want to actually go in here and type these in manually. I don't want to put 12 or 14. I want Excel to go to my assigned officers and count each of those officers. And a caveat, none of this data is real PI. These are all fake names. So let me get rid of these two values. And what I want to do is show you how you can use a sum ifs or a count ifs to grab this data for you. <clears throat> I'm going to use sum ifs for the mto, count ifs for people. So sum ifs, it's asking me for the sum range, meaning where do you want me to sum data from? And I'm going to go to the mto to the authorized column. AH and if you type a comma after that it will ask you for the criteria range the criteria range for me to sum the values that was in the authorized strength column were one you had to be a second lieutenant so an O1 the second criteria was that you had to be in HHC, which was Whiskey, AGF, Alpha, Alpha, and close parentheses. And that value is zero because you are authorized zero second lieutenants in a BCT. So there's that formula. You can go back and play it again if you need to see it in slow motion. But we're going to go ahead and do the assigned percentage, which is a count ifs. A count ifs. Because we have multiple criteria. So I'm saying I want you to count. If. In the P grade column, it says second lieutenant. And criteria range, if their UIC equals whiskey AGF, and I'm gonna use the star for a wild card because they won't be in the alpha alpha because there can be separate companies as you see T0, alpha zero, bravo zero, etc. And then I'm going to close that out. And I've got two. There are two lieutenants in HHC 1st Brigade. The next challenge is to actually calculate a percentage and display that. And the assigned percentage always equals the assigned divided by the authorized. And the problem with that is that it's telling you is that you can't divide by zero which is absolutely right so you don't want that on your entire spreadsheet because it looks terrible and the easiest way to get rid of that is to handle that with an if statement so I'm gonna say if this authorized column E16 equals zero so a logical test is E16 equals zero comma the value if that's true and it is it does equal zero so in the percentage column I want you to display an NA or whatever you want comma the value if it's false meaning if it's not zero then I want you to take the assign and divide it by the authorized close parentheses enter 
and it's putting an NA there. So we showed you how to go to an MTO tab and count positions or some positions. We showed you how to count people from a separate tab or anywhere else. And we showed you how to, to calculate a percentage and or handle when you have assigned personnel and no authorized. So let's just say we were authorized 10 here and I wouldn't manually do it. I would do it this way with a sum ifs. But let's just say if I had 10 and I got eight and I've got a 0.8%. So we can change that to a percentage so if this was a hundred and we got 68 it'll show a percentage or in a it won't just leave that pound sign divided by zero so enough of that we're gonna go up here to the enlisted and the challenge you're gonna have with the enlisted rests in the skill level one because skill level one is the only skill level that consists of more than one grade E1 through E4 and as you look through your data store or web EDAS data there is no pay grade per se readily available for you um, I'm gonna show you two methods to handle that <clears throat> and you're gonna wanna do that on the positions also because the positions can be E3's or E4's and to be skill level ones, you need all of those comprised into one, um, one group level. So one of the easiest ways to do this is to add a skill level. I'm just call it skill level. And looking at this column here, this fourth character in every nine digit MOS is a skill level. So I just want to extract that out and I do that with a formula called a mid which means the middle of text where do you want me to start what's the start number and this we said it was the fourth character and we only want you to go to the go over to the right one space so that's gonna grab that too and then I'm gonna close the parentheses so it gave me a two and when I double click it and apply it down, I get a skill level for everyone. So that's one way. If, if you got web EDAS data, you can still get it. If you got data store, you've got grades. I mean, not grades, you've got ranks, but you don't have skill levels anywhere on this document. So what you'll see is here, I have a I have a rank lookup table that I pretty much keep everywhere with me on all spreadsheets because we're always working with HR data and I never know when I need to change it. So if I only had data stored data and I needed to get a skill level on each one of these individuals, then I would come here and I'm just going to call this column skill level. And let's get some real estate here. And I'm going to say that skill level equals, we're going to do what's called a VLOOKUP. And a VLOOKUP is basically going to go reference another group of cells to find the value that you're looking for. So the lookup value is, I want you to go into this, I want you to look for captain in this other column and then tell me what the skill level value is for it. So the table array is where is this information that you want me to look through. And I want you to look through N1 through P23. And hit a comma. And then the column index is column P, which is the third column. So my column in index is going to be column three. Oops. Let's delete that. 
and then my range lookup is always false because we we require an exact match and when I hit that I got a captain and then when I tried to apply it down I ran into an issue because Excel is not using absolute referencing so it's it's scooting it's thinking that I wanted to change the text we were looking in N1 through P23 was where all those ranks were and when you get here it went down to N7 and P29 where there's no there's no no information so in order to fix that all you've got to do is if you got a regular keyboard if you hit the F4 button it will toggle it or if you just go in here in between each value of that range and put a dollar sign in front of P23 P and 23 and hit enter and then if you apply that down it will take it all the way down the spreadsheet and now you see my enlisted guys have skill levels so that's a pretty powerful formula <clears throat> um, if you get your hands on this spreadsheet it will be on the spreadsheet under the takeaways you'll see the VLOOKUP formula as well as a bunch of other formulas that'll show you how to do stuff but and we also need to do the MTO we need to give them a skill level so I'm going to insert here call it a skill level and this equals I'm going to do a mid again on this MOS the fourth character one space should give me the skill level out of that for the officers it will be messed up but I don't need it for the officers So now I can get an accurate sum if of my authorized billets equals sum ifs. What's the sum range? Which was the authorized strength? What was the criteria? There was two criteria. One was that you be skill level one, right? The other was that your UIC be in HHC. AGF alpha alpha close parentheses. And I have 33 billets. And now I can do the assign, which is equals count ifs. And I can use data store or web edas because I have a skill level on both. So I want you to count if skill level is one and the current UIC oops, is in HHC, AGF. And I'm gonna use a wild card again because there are, there are different companies. There's not just straight alpha alphas, close parentheses. And I've got my number. And remember, we said that we didn't want to just take and do the authorized by the assign. We can actually go copy this from down here and paste it. And we got 167%. So again, to wrap this up, you can use count ifs to count people and some ifs to count positions or to some positions should I say and we also discussed putting an if statement in here if you authorize was zero so that you wouldn't get that number sign divided by zero so again this is just a little series we're gonna work with Excel data if you got any questions drop a line on the AG tube channel 
and we'll get back to you or if you'd like to play with this information shoot me a note and I can shoot you a dummy draft of it thank you have a great day